I don't know about you guys, but that video was awesome. Hi, my name is Ali. My name is Omar. I'm Yusuf. And I'm Karma. Now, to start things off, we'd like to have the audience, you guys, to participate, uh, participate with us in something. And now, put your hands together if you love video games. Okay, so this one is gonna be a step further. We want you all to shout out some of your favorite video game titles. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, guys. Well, just like you guys, <laughs> that is a lot of games. <laughs> Just like you guys, we love playing video games ourselves, but for many different reasons. While a lot of people look down upon playing video games, we see that there are many benefits to playing them that people don't always realize. So you guys want to know how to get your parents to let you play more video games? Yeah. Well, video games make you smarter. <laughs> how? They increase your critical thinking and problem-solving ability. Due to the fact that our brains work and learn off patterns, video games provide a completely new way for us to learn many new patterns and better adapt to our environments we haven't encountered before. Studies have shown that there's a direct connection between the skill level someone has in a video game and their ability to use a more advanced problem-solving set. We can see gamers using this more advanced problem-solving skill of theirs to help the world, and the fact that it took them less than 10 days to find the molecular structure of a protein found in AIDS, whereas scientists were unable to do it. Now tell that to your parents. Video games can be used as a supplement to science, can help make us smarter, and can help better prepare us to face the world's challenging new problems. I got something even better than that. While playing video games can improve your problem-solving or reasoning skills, they can also improve your selective attention abilities. Selective attention is the skill that allows for us to sort out distractions from important tasks, which is important when doing things like playing video games or doing things in real life. At the University of Rochester, it was shown that those who played video games were often less stimulated by distractions than those who didn't play video games at all. Play playing video games can also improve our reflexes, which is important when doing things that require quick precision, like hitting a baseball with a bat. At the Washington University, it was shown that those who played video games had reflexes about 100 milliseconds faster than the average non-gamer. Another study has shown that those who played video games we're able to respond to questions about 25% quicker than those who didn't play video games. So what does this all mean? Well, let's say you're walking by a table and you accidentally knock over a very expensive vase, which, trust me, you don't want to do that. Well, let's say you did that, and while the average person might not be able to catch it in time before it breaks, those of you who play video games might be able to catch it and put it safely back in its place. But through these examples and studies, we can see how playing video games can greatly improve our selective attention and reflexes. Now, let's dive into history, but instead of heading into the classroom like we'd normally do, let's pick up a controller and play a video game. Yes! Recently, developers have been finding new ways to incorporate history lessons into a video game itself. Take this game, for example, Civilization. In the game, you start off as an empire, whether it be the French or the Mongolian or the Arabian, and you build your army and expand your empire. Another popular game would be Assassin's Creed 3. A game that includes relevant events during the American Revolutionary War. So, but un unfortunately, we can't completely disregard our history classroom because, as much as I'd like to, because Developers tend to be biased and include altered information about history. So the same way as developers have been including uh, his history lessons into a video game, they've been also in including uh, social interaction. So how many of you like to play video games with your friends online? Like you, I enjoy playing video games with my friends as well, whether they live across the street from me or across the globe. We can talk about many different things, such as how they were doing that day, or we can just discuss strategy within the game itself. Through advancements in technology, video games have become more interactive than ever before. All right, so one of the main reasons why we play video games 
is usually not because we want to improve our reflexes or problem solving skills or even learn history. Most of the time, we just want to have fun. Yes. Now, people who aren't familiar with video games or don't really understand them would ask, what is so enjoyable about sitting in front of a screen holding a controller for a long period of time? <laughs> well, one of the possible answers to this is imagination. When playing a video game, we're given the opportunity to escape reality for just a day, for just a second, fraction of the day, sorry. Now, what do I mean by all this? Well, an example of this is being able to play as an Italian plumber, okay, who saves a princess of the Mushroom Kingdom. So, this is very strange, you agree? Yes. But strangely enough, we find this very satisfying. So what is the main scientific con contributors to this satisfaction? Well, one of them can be seen through a chemical called dopamine, which is released in our brain. Now, dopamine is associated with happiness and pleasure. Okay. So what do you suppose would happen if we were to have too much dopamine? Well, we may become addicted, and we might end up looking something like this. <laughs> Joker. Now, I don't know about you guys, uh. but I do not want to look like that under any circumstances, okay? So what do we do? Well, we need to play video games in reasonable doses. And by reasonable, we're not talking about 100 hours a week. Okay, that's not reasonable, okay? <laughs> With all this being said, we hope that the next time you play a video game, you think about it differently than you ever have before. Thank you. <laughs>